away to Derby County in their previous outing. A more attack-minded 4-4-2 formation was adopted. Relegation zone. A 3-1 away defeat to Manchester United prompted manager Walter Smith to ring the changes. Five in So starts the 160th Merseyside Derby. It's been well done. Handle this afternoon. The referee who has booked the least in the Premiership. There were seven bookings in the game between the two earlier in the season. This decor fires in. A goal in the opening seconds. And what a way to announce yourself in a Merseyside Derby. Kenny Dalglish, one scored for Liverpool within 20 seconds of the Merseyside derby. Olivier Dacour may well have matched that. The boot of Dacour and nestled in the net of David James. Well, Olivier Dacour's first touch in a Merseyside derby was a touch he will never forget as long as he lives. A stunning shot they weren't expecting. Someone's speculating that ever dies. <laughs> Redknapp, what a scintillating game of football. We've only had a couple of minutes. Berger on the run. Ince goes down. The referee is the only man on the whole of Merseyside keeping a cool head. McManaman plays it in. A diving header and ankle. Looking for a bit of height and he finds it in Song and the heck of reception from both sets of fans for him there's Ince penalty no doubt about it an untidy challenge from Marco Matarazzi and he pays a very heavy price he scored four in four games against the Blues make that five out of five Saved by Myra in four months. Burgers corner flicked by McManaman, and it's there. It's Robbie Fowler again, and the boy is on a natural high. Companies will be worried about that ball. Fowler and McManaman linking arms. Matarazzi fires it in. Oh, how unlucky can you get? Unsworth. Burger. Quick thinking, quick feet. Bobby Fowler. Blocked. Balls for Michael Owen. Great save by Myra. Was a question then whether uh, Berger was onside or not. He waits into attack. Short is up from the back. He almost gets a flick. Panic in the Liverpool defence as Weir blasts it over the top. Gerard Julio opts for Stephen Gerard, only 18 years of age. That's his first taste of the Merseyside derby. In the final 15 minutes, McNamara plays it in and Song. Hey, come on, man! Redknapp. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, As far as Berger. 3 1, mission complete. fans can start to celebrate their first victory since 1994 the first time they've scored three goals against Everton in 33 years and Patrick Berger who's had a sensational difference between they and Everton and Everton have scored is it a consolation goal it's Francis Jeffers who scored it and it will make it an interesting final six minutes plus stoppage time. In. 
Roberts. Wentworth powers it back in. Falls for Kadimatari! And cleared from well under the shadow of his own crossbar by Steven Gerrard. And Kadimatari felt he had a case for a penalty. Of regulation time, plus uh, a lot of stoppage time to be added on. And James has come out of his goal, what's he doing? Well, bailed out again, or is he? It's, it's fired in by Kadimatari and David James. And a rush of blood to his head then, and almost handed Everton an equalising goal in the final minute of the game. And Steven Gerrard gets the kind of congratulations from his teammates which are normally afforded to the scorer of a winning goal. Campbell goes up. Kadamatri. Nervous looking Liverpool defence. Balls in. And for the third time since he came on, Stephen Gerrard makes an incredible clearance. Well, Robbie Fowler scored the two goals, but Gerrard, who's only played about 20 minutes of this game, must be running in close for man of the match. Little teaser headed away by Riedler. And the referee blows the final whistle. Mass relief from the Liverpool fans. The Reds' first victory over the Blues since 1990.